I got a big, big box. What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Uh, I woke up today. And I'm about to leave for, for a trip. You guys are seeing this. I'm probably on my trip when you guys are watching this. But I'm up. I'm getting ready. And, and I go outside to check my mail. And I see this huge, big box. I was like, what is this? I didn't buy anything. And then I looked. I looked. I looked. And yep, there it is. This is a box from Torpedo Comics. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. So guys, big shout out to Torpedo Comics. They reached out to me. And wanted to send me uh, basically a, a gift box here. So huge, huge thank you to them. We're going to open this up. I have no idea what's in here. Before we get into it, if you are subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Check out all the links in the description below as well. So we're going to do this. We're not doing this alone, guys. We're going to do this with one of our, our greatest champions. My best friend, Red Deadly. Back from... A bit of a hiatus, yeah. Red Deadly. I mean, he uh, he was going through some things, going through some 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 growing pains, maybe a maybe a midlife crisis. But uh, Red Deadly, very happy to have you back here, uh, opening up this amazing box of, of of big question mark goodness from Torpedo Comics. So I'm gonna uh, let's see, I'm gonna set this down like right in front of me here, kind of like this, and I'm gonna start opening it. I'm, I'm gonna say I am. I'm familiar a little bit with Torpedo Comics because I, I follow them on Instagram, but I, I'm going to be quite honest. I'm not going to fake the funk like I'm fully aware of their history or anything they, they do or like I, I've never been, I don't think I've ever purchased anything from them. So I was really, really appreciative when, when they reached out to me. Um, I just thought it was extremely humbling. And I didn't know what to expect, and I still don't. So, uh, we shall see. All right, we're in here. We are in here. Thank you, Red Deadly. I'm very much uh, uh, happy to be, you know, working together again as a team, right? <laughs> a lot of uh, paper. And... And then we have we have something right here, and something right here. Okay, we got two smaller boxes inside the big box and ooh, bubble wrap. Look at this! Wow. Okay, let me take the bubble wrap. This is an amazing presentation. I, I will say that. That's the first thing that comes to my mind is this is an amazing presentation. Trying to get this bubble wrap off the best that I can, quickly as I can. Okay. Look at this box. Wow. There we go. Okay. I mean, geez, look at this. This is, look at this. Torpedo Comics Mystery Box. Mm, I was like, does it have the smell of the uh, of a brand new like I'm thinking like a uh, baseball card boxes and everything that have that nice fresh uh, smell to it, kind of like comic books, right? Um, here we go. We got Torpedo Comics on the back. Hey, funny, it, it kind of matches my my out my outfit today. I didn't I didn't I didn't plan for that. <laughs> All right, so this is a Torpedo Comics mystery box, and I, again, guys, I don't fake the funk. I don't sugarcoat this. This torpedo isn't paying me anything uh, to do this unboxing today, but they, out of the kindness of their hearts, they they sent me this. Uh, but I will say, this is what I always say uh, when I open a mystery box. Never been a huge fan of mystery boxes, but I understand the intrigue. I did. I, I was subscribed to Comic Tom's Mystery Boxes for over a year. I am taking a break right now just because of financial situations. You know, I had to cut uh, some spending here and there, but, um, I would always give my, my pros of, of what I felt about, uh, those boxes. So we'll see, uh, what I think about these. All right. So first off, we have a nice little goodie bag here. 
And let's see what's in here. All right, set that down. I need to get proper context myself since this is like my, my first time. First, we got a cool little sticker. That's cool. We got Wonder, Wonder Woman sticker. This is dope. I'm going to put that somewhere in this room. Oh, we got some magnets. Madman magnets. Boom. All right. So here we go. We got, oh, look at this. This is a neat little marketing technique. It's a promo card of one of their, it's like a screenshot of, of an Instagram post. That's pretty neat. Torpedo Comics on Instagram. Join the treasure hunt. Find the newest treasure from your couch in our daily live sales. Uh, they have live sales, so they got whatnot and Instagram. Join the treasure hunt. Watch our live sales. Claim your newest treasure in our daily Instagram and whatnot live sales. Hot books, keys, legendary finds away. Uh, ship directly to your door. All right. And it looks like they have three. Actual physical locations in Las Vegas, Orange, California, which is Southern California, and Irvine, which is Southern California as well. So maybe next time. I actually, there might be a chance I might be hitting up Vegas later in the year. So uh, if I am there, I'll have to uh, stop and check them out. All right, guys. So uh, we have some raw books, and it looks like we have a slab. Now, uh, I know that there is a, or at least if I'm not mistaken... They have a $25 mystery box and a $100 mystery box. Now, don't quote me on this. Uh, that's just the information that I got from their website. Let's go ahead and open up what we have here. They got their torpedo wrapping paper. So, uh, great presentation. It's packaged extremely well. And... Uh, Oh, wow. Okay. So already we have, look at this, Return of the Valkyries number three, and it's signed. I do not know whose autograph that is right off the top of my head, but let's open this up. Oh, look at this. This is really cool because, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got a Ryan. Uh, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Every book looks like it comes with a either a back a custom backing board or something that's behind the backing board uh, and a certificate of authenticity. Return of Valkyrie number three, Jason Aaron, signed by Jason Aaron. Nice, that's sweet. So let's open this up, and it looks like a backing board, and then yeah, it's like a custom backing board. That is clean. Comic book seal of the world's greatest comic book experience, Torpedo Comics. Look at that. I'm telling you, man. I mean, that you got to give it to them on presentation. This is, there's something there. There is absolutely something there when, when there's a presentation that, that stands out. So you got to give them credit. And this is cool. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Jason Aaron. But uh, that's a nice cover, too. Look at that. Awesome. All right, next book up. Oh, and look, they do they have the grade? Oh, they don't have a grade on this one. I'm assuming that's near me. But there's another one here that has a grade. We'll show that off in a minute. But I saw this one because it was a Ryan Otley signature. Uh, Hulk number three. Sick. Signed by Ryan Otley. Look at that. And again, Certificate of Authenticity, uh, Hulk 3 by Donnie Cates, Ryan Ali, signed on the date February 22nd, 2022. Oh, it's signed by uh, Donnie Cates too. I almost didn't see it. That bright yellow, you got the black DC. Look at that. Dope. All right, now I'm even more excited. That's dope. That's a great, great combination right there. Nice. All right, next up we have, oh, sick, sick. Okay, man, we got Thor number eight, the, um, oh my gosh, I can't, the, oh, what are they called? Oh, man, what are these variants? The Alex Ross timely variants, or timeless variants, sorry. And uh, signed by Donnie Cates. A nice kind of quick DC right there over the, over the cover. Dope. This certificate of authenticity looks a little different, but still one there. I kind of like that one. 
All right, and then next up, nice Batman Detective Comics number 720, signed by Graham Nolan. Nice, so there's that signature right there. That's a cool signature. And uh, I like how it has this on their custom board. 8.5, very fine plus. So again, presentation is amazing. I mean, they put a lot of work, effort, and money into this presentation. And, and it. this is dope. I mean, if I can have all my, like say for me being journals comics, uh, if I can have some type of custom journals thing that had like the, ever, so if I wasn't journals comics and I just had any type of custom thing, that would be dope. I know I mean, I, I'm talking up like the, the small little details here, but I got to tell you, again, as somebody that's never been too huge on mystery boxes, presentation matters. It does. Because it's, it's, it's kind of pulling me in here, guys. All right, next up, we got... We got what looks to be a slab. Ah, I'm going to rip it open like it's Christmas. Again, man, big, big shout out to Torpedo for, for doing this. All right. It look, oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow. Sick. It is a yellow label. So, again, I apologize if I'm not too hip and savvy on, on their boxes, but it, it, this must be a sign, like a signature box, I'm wondering, where everything that you get is a, a signed comic. <laughs> I'm, do, <laughs> I'm doing my best, guys. And I will say, too, I, I it would be hard to imagine that any book has ever came damaged in one of these mystery boxes because there's layer after layer after layer. Sick. I'm going to take it out of the bag just to, just so I can show you guys. Um, and you get a crisp look of the, uh, the book or the slab, man, they are really doing it up. Okay. We got Silver Surfer. Always love me some Silver Surfer. I don't even think I own this issue. I have a pretty solid run of this issue, the Volume 3 issue. Silver Surfer 77, guest starring Jack of Hearts and Nebula. Uh, this is a sign by Ron Mars. Ron Mars, a comic book canon guest alum. 9.8. This is a beauty. Look at that. Signature right there. Wow. That's awesome. Look at that. That's it's beautiful and the case is crisp and clean. Wow, so so that's that's this box, guys. There's one more box, though. Don't go anywhere yet. So again, we have a 9.8 yellow signature series Silver Surfer sign by Ron Mars, which is awesome. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Silver Surfer and Ron Mars. Good dude. We had him on Combo Cannon sometime last year. Uh, and we have, what, four raw books here. Uh, we have Batman Detective Comics, number 720, signed by Graham Nolan. Um... These two are my favorites. We got the uh, Alex Ross variant for Thor number eight, signed by Donnie Cates. And then the Hulk number three, signed by Donnie Cates and Ryan Otley. And then Return of the Valkyries, sit cover, signed by Jason Aaron. And of course, the little gift bag. All right, we're going to set this aside. Man, wow. Okay. We got another box in here, folks. Another box in here. And of course, it's wrapped up in even more bubble. And I'm going to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. 
So once again, beautiful box. Awesome presentation. Red, Red Devi, come on over. Okay. There we go. Woo. All right. I'm going to set it down. In, oops, sorry, guys. I'm going to set it down in front here. Another little goodie bag. Another Wonder Woman sticker. Let's see if we get anything different in the, this goodie bag. Come on. Open up. All right. We got... Oh, sick. Savage Dragon Magnets. Dope. <laughs> and then uh, same flyer, torpedo sticker, and another Wonder Woman sticker. All right, here we go. We ready for this one? All right. Wow. All right, so we got another similar setup, it looks like. All right, let's start with the top. Nice. All right, we got another Thor. Thor number four, signed by Jason Aaron, another Jason Aaron signature. Certificate. We have uh, Asha Comics number 960, signed by Tyler Kirkham. Dope. Nice. Signature there. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. All right, another Valkyrie signed by Jason Aaron. Uh, that's Valkyrie number two. Another dope cover. Who's the artist on this cover? Man. Certificate. Oh, sick. We got Superman number 80, Reign of Superman. Signed by Brett Breeding. All right, so this one only had... Wait, no, that's the same amount, right? Four, four, four raw books, all signed. And then we have another slab. I am just... Wow. Oh, man. Another signature series. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. I see red. I saw the red. <laughs> I see red. I see a yellow label. Oh my goodness. Ah. Grab it open. We ready? All right, what do we got? Nice. Okay, She Hulk. Let me take it out of the bag. Oh, man, this is a good one. Just in time for the Disney Plus show that's going to be coming out in about, what, a week? Since filming this anyways, we have a beautiful, this is a dope cover too. I don't think I, I don't have this book at all. She-Hulk number 11 from the 2004 run. This is another 9.8 yellow label. Signed by Paul Pelletier. Nice. So that's the artist. Look at that. Another just super clean book. And I do not have, I, I didn't have any signature series comics in my collection. Look at that. Man, so again, two boxes. Now we got a huge mess over here. And two slabs, both signed. And four raw books signed. So let's do a review, guys. Let's do my honest review. Again, big shout out to Torpedo for hooking this up. Just amazing. So, two slabs here. I mean, I'm just like, let's talk about this, guys. If you get these books, and again, I hope that my information is, is correct. If these boxes were $100 each, 
I don't, I'm not going to run numbers for you guys or anything like that. But I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, just the cost of the slab and the shipping for this, call it roughly around 40 bucks, 30, let's say $35, $35 right there, just in slabbing costs. We're not even talking about the value of a book and it's a 9.8 and a signature series. And then you get four books um, that have a, a cover price of four, four, you know, if, I, I mean, you're looking at like about $20, almost just a cover price right there. You're getting more than half of your value just in cost of slab and in cover price of books. Then you look at actual fair market value. So I, I, I can assume right now, I mean, you got, I, I don't know how much Ron Mars autographs go for, but you have a uh, CGC signature series and a 9.8. And we all know that those, those 9.8s, I mean, you can, you could grade a book uh, that is a dollar bin book. And in a 9.8, some people are going to, are going to have, there's going to be a demand for it from some people. Um, when you add a signature like Ron Mars, it's definitely going to add value. I can't imagine, I can't imagine this book selling for under a hundred dollars. And that's just me not, not knowing, you know, Hey, if you guys are looking up the data, watching this and I'm wrong, prove me wrong, but I don't see this book alone selling for under a hundred dollars. Um, again, I'm not too familiar with, with, uh, 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 Graham Nolan and, uh, obviously Donnie Cates. I mean, I, this, this book right here signed by D Donnie Cates. I can, I can't imagine this book selling for under 30 or $40. Uh, and then another Donnie Cates, Ryan Otley. I mean, same thing. And that's a, that's a dynamic duo right there. Jason Aaron, I'm familiar with his name, but not too familiar with uh, a lot of his work. So I can't really uh, put a value on that. But if indeed you're paying a hundred dollars for this mystery box, you're absolutely getting your money's worth. I mean, like I said, just the presentation alone is, is, is amazing. Um, you know, there's something in mystery boxes. And again, maybe, maybe, maybe for me, and that's the, this is the great thing about comic book collecting. Everything doesn't have to be for everyone. And I'm not really like a gambler, you know, or like I enjoy the mystery. A lot of it probably has to do for the fact that I've always been on a budget. If I have money to blow, actually, I would I would love spending money on mystery boxes here and there. But because I've always been on a budget, it hasn't really been something that I've put a lot of thought into. But for those that enjoy the mystery of things, this, this the, the whole experience was awesome. And there's absolute value there. Another thing, and I've talked about this on my channel, and just to be honest and straightforward... I'm not really big on signed comic books. I've never been somebody that goes out and collects signatures on comics, but it's really awesome to see certain artists that I enjoy, like uh, or, or artists or writers like Ron Mars or, or, or Donnie Cates. Those things do pique my interest. And another thing that I know for a, a, a complete fact is that there's a huge majority out there that would go out their mystery boxes like these just because they're hunting down signed books and hoping to get a solid signature series book, et cetera, et cetera. Autograph comics are a huge thing. And this is why CGC has upped their game when it comes to doing their signature series events. And they're pumping them out, pumping them out, pumping them out because it is a huge market and it is growing by the day, by the week. And it's not slowing down uh, anytime soon. Uh, so, I mean, even looking at, looking at this, I mean, uh, w w what did I say? I, I, did I show this? Uh, I'm trying to think which ones that I, I showed off talking about value, but I mean, similar thing. I mean, I don't, both of these, these slabs, I don't see them going for under a hundred dollars. You know, you got a 9.8 She-Hulk, um, you know, signed by the, uh, by the artist with a beautiful Mike Mayhew cover. I mean... I don't see that selling for under a hundred dollars and you can say the same thing. You know, you got another, um, uh, Jason Aaron, Tyler Kirkham, you know, his signature right now is, is probably in, in, in decent demand to Jason Aaron's in that one. And obviously I'm familiar with the reign of Superman, but I don't know how much, uh, Brett breeding would, would command. This might be out of all the books, just off the top of my head as a guest, this might be maybe the least valuable out of, out of all. 
but uh, just because of the book itself and you know whose signature it is. But again, I definitely think you're getting your money's worth with these. Um, it's definitely something to look to if this speaks to you as a collector. There's so many different types of collectors out there. There's no right or wrong way to, to collect comics as long as you're doing it soundly and in you know enjoying um, the hobby and the way that you enjoy it. You know that you're out making purchases and buying comics that you're going to enjoy. You're not going to have regret or you're not going out just because you know you feel pressured into buying something. Make sure you know what you love about the 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 hobby itself and then do what works for you and spend your money wisely and uh torpedo comics again as somebody that's not too familiar with their brand they've left an impression on me today um obviously their their kindness and generosity uh alone but outside of that you know if i sat here and spent a hundred dollars on these boxes i i wouldn't be disappointed the presentation and the quality of what you get in them from at least the sample size of these two is absolutely solid. So uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of the boxes? Do, do you think it's a, a, a fair deal? Uh, have you received a mystery box from Torpedo Comics? What have you thought of them? Uh, and again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Torpedo Comics. Big, big shout out to you guys. I am leaving a link below in the descriptions for you guys to check out their Instagram and their uh, website. So again, thank you all. Be well. And until next time.